Introduction and Navigation. Welcome. The Kronos Music Workstation is a powerful and innovative musical instrument designed for live performing musicians, for artists creating in a studio or computer-based production environment, and for musicians and sound designers seeking the ultimate synthesizer. In this hour-long video, we'll cover the main functions of your Kronos. There's a lot to cover, so each exercise will be brief, but it should be enough to get you started. For more detailed information, the PDF manuals on the Accessory Disc 2 that came with your Kronos can help you dig deeper. We recommend that you follow the video all the way through the first time, pausing when necessary. Then later, go back to specific chapters. Okay, before we get started, reach around to the right rear of the Kronos and turn it off. Wait though, don't turn it on yet. Korg recommends that you should wait approximately 10 seconds after the Kronos has been shut down before turning it back on again. Okay, that should be long enough. Reach back and turn it on. Now we'll both be in the same place from the beginning. While it's starting up, let's take a look at the Kronos top panel from left to right. These are the performance controllers, typically used to control the nuances of the sounds in real time. The ribbon, joystick, switches 1 and 2, and the vector joystick. The Karma and drum track switches. The knobs, switches, and sliders of this control surface are used for a variety of functions from mixing to adjusting and editing the sounds. The value slider and up-down buttons to the left of the screen and the dial to the right are used to change and adjust values, parameters, etc. This 8-inch touch view screen is the heart of the Kronos interface. The mode buttons, the exit button, the compare button which works like an undo, the help button that accesses the onboard English manual. These buttons directly access the banks of programs or combinations, the numeric keypad, the sequencer transport controls, tap tempo and tempo knob, and finally the sampling switches. The back panel has the usual array of pedal and MIDI connections, as well as outputs of course. However, you will also find USB A and B connections, SPDIF digital in and out, and two analog inputs for sampling and audio recording. By the way, Kronos can send MIDI signals to and from your computer via USB. Using the Kronos Editor software, a free download, sounds and settings can be edited directly from your computer. The plugin editor, also a free download, lets you use Kronos from within many popular DAW systems, as if it were a plug-in instrument. Kronos can also be used as an audio I.O. for your computer, sending and receiving two channels of audio via USB. That means that when using your Kronos and a computer in a music production system, there's no need to purchase any additional hardware. You have everything you need right here. Details on this are in the documentation that comes with the free software. When using the Kronos, you're always working within one of seven modes. Setlist, Combination, Program, Sequencer, Sampling, Global, or Disc. We'll be looking at these modes in detail, but for now, press Global to go to Global Mode. Let's look at getting around on the Touch View screen. It's a good idea to calibrate the screen the first time you use your Kronos, or if the screen isn't responding correctly. In the upper right corner, there's always a pull-down menu with important things like write commands, etc. From this page of the global mode, you can select Touch Panel Calibration. Just follow the on-screen commands. Touch the two rectangles in the center using your fingernail or a stylus, then touch Done. The touch view screen is extremely easy to use. You simply touch a value or parameter and then use a variety of ways to change it. For example, touch the key transpose parameter. You can now use the slider, the up-down buttons, the dial, or the numeric keypad to change the value. Make sure it's back at zero. Use the numeric keypad and press zero, then enter. You'll also occasionally find radio buttons used to select from a small set of options, as well as checkboxes. When you see an arrow beside a parameter, it means it will open a menu of things to select from. 
You can make a selection, but for now just touch outside the menu to make the menu disappear. The exit button makes it disappear as well. Along the bottom, these tabs access more pages of information. And within those pages, there are usually more tabs. Press the exit button to get back to the top page. We'll be using this powerful control surface to do many different things throughout this video. These five control assign buttons change the function. Timber and MIDI track mixer, audio input and track mixer, external control, real-time knobs karma, and tone adjust.